Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here and today Dead by Daylight put out a blog post letting us know what changes they have made from the mid-chapter patch that we tested in the public test build two and a half weeks ago to what is going to go live on presumably March 23rd when that new rift comes out, right? So here we go. People are waiting for this with bated breath to see what changes are being made because everybody thought that the twins are super strong. So let's see what goes on here. Thank you to everyone who shared the detailed feedback on the 7.7.0 .7 PTB. It's time to dive into the changes coming to the next update. So we can either look at Reddit or the forums. I'm not going to Reddit because that's dangerous. So here we go. This graphic shows you what was changed. In case you don't remember, there was some uh, blight collision changes. Big rework of the twins. They changed Haddonfield, and then they changed these three perks: Ultimate Weapon, Adrenaline, and Decisive Strike. And we have that new store coming in. It's pretty cool, and you can't lose any pips in games anymore. So let's jump right into it, shall we? So we're gonna go over here to the developer update. Da, da, da. As the 7.7 .7 update approaches, we've prepared some adjustments after going through the feedback we've collected during the public test build. The twins, okay, everybody hold your breath. Devs have announced that they're fine and they're going forward as is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Major update to the twins. What is changing here? Reverted. Victor no longer latches on to survivors who are put into the dying state. What is going on? Are we rolling all this back? Reverted. Victor once again latches on to survivors who are injured by his pounce. They just re reversed it all? What's going on? Reverted. Charlotte no longer gains haste when Victor is latched onto a survivor. So what is changing then? Developer note, we received a lot of comments about the twins' strength during the public test build. We have made the decision to revert the changes to Victor's pounce and keep the various quality of life improvements. Faster switching between Charlotte and Victor. The ability to recall Victor and add on adjustments and base kit inclusion. We may revisit the twins in a future update if necessary, but these smaller tweaks will make the twins feel better to play for the time being. Wow, I didn't think they would do that. I mean, th these are the kind of things that Linksy, friend of the channel, and Twins Main has been asking for. It's just faster switching between the two. Okay. Okay, I'm quite shocked. I thought, you know, for uh, there are a few content creators out there who steadfastly say that the devs are unwilling to go back on anything that they have put out merely because they have put time into it and they don't want all that time spent to be for nothing. And I think that this flies in the face of that idea, wouldn't you say? Because they spent time reworking this twins and then they realized yeah this isn't exactly right to go forward with and they scrapped it to their credit right so those naysayers who say no the devs don't listen and they just go forward with whatever they did because of their pride their ego i would say you have to point to this as a case in point that that's not necessarily true or not always true anyway right Wow, I did not think they would do that. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I'm reading alongside of this the same time as you, so I have no idea. The Blight, minor update. Change the Summoning Stone add-on. This will increase the initial rush duration by a half a second. It was uh, one second. Change the Soul Chemical add-on. This increases the initial rush speed by 5%, down from 10% on the PTB. D Dev note, feedback around the Blight often centered on the two add-ons and his approved collision detection. We made some adjustment adjustments to the add-ons to slightly lower their strength whilst still maintaining their usefulness. The Blight's collision detection will remain as it was on the PTB, and he will continue with our ongoing efforts to improve the collision across all maps. On public test build day, I played against a P100 Blight, and I said, what do you think of the change? And they said, I love it. I don't care that Hug Tech is gone because um, bump collision logic is always superior. So the fact that they improve that is better than any Hug Tech could ever be. I also have one thing I want to read you on that point. 
about uh, the hug tech being gone. Okay, now this is something that I read on Twitter, and I think that it's worth noting. Uh, I'm not going to show you who said what, because I don't want to call anybody out. But someone complained about the hug tech being removed, and they said, Dark, dark days are ahead for Dead by Daylight. With the removal of Blight's hug tech, the skill ceiling for one of the most difficult killers just got obliterated. I suspect Oni and Wesker are not too far behind in terms of their techs being removed. Pretty soon, the gap between M1 and M2 killers will be made very narrow. Nearly all safe pallets will need to be bloodlusted or broken with little counterplay. The autopilot meta is upon us. To which friend of the channel responded, So, what you're saying is the devs are bringing the killers who are overpowered, basically uncounterable by less than the top 5% of survivors, to the same levels as other M1 killers, so that they can balance the game around a more median killer power level? Wow, that sounds terrible. Sarcasm, obviously. And I thought that that was a very astute observation, and I absolutely love it. And by the way, that response comes from a killer main. All right. Anyway, moving on here now. Decisive Strike will remove. Decisive Strike no longer has a new animation. Ah! Eh, eh, let me go! Eh! <laughs> Dev note, this PTB featured a new animation for Decisive Strike in which the survivor would stab the killer to free themselves. The animation had too much of an effect on the perk's expected behavior, adding a delay before the survivor wiggled free. We have decided to remove the animation for Decisive Strike before the update is released. The stun time for the perk will remain at five seconds for the time being. Yeah, it sure didn't feel like five seconds. I, I have to wonder if the animation was cutting into the five seconds. It's like, what? How did this perk get buffed at all? So probably a good choice there. Uh, now, the only question is, is that drop technique still in there? Because if a, if a killer picked up a survivor and dropped them before... They got the skill check to hit for Decisive Strike. It would waste Decisive Strike and drop them on the ground, and they would lose it, so stay tuned. All right, ultimate weapon. Note, the following changes will be part of a future update. The perk will remain as it was on the PTB in the meantime, so this is going to be a future change, but it's going to roll out a PTB version on the 23rd. Reverted. Effective survivors will once again scream instead of having their aura revealed. Change. Now affects survivors within 32 meters of the locker. It was previously inside the killer's terror radius. That's interesting. That's interesting. We received some mixed feedback during the PTB. While the perk was less appealing for some killers, it remained a strong choice for killers with high mobility. To make its strength a little more even across more killers, We've changed Ultimate Weapon to be based on the locker's position rather than the killer's. This way, killers without traversal abilities or a smaller terror radius can take advantage of the perk more consistency, consistently without it being excessive on high mobility killers. With this in mind, we've also brought back the Scream to allow it to synergize with other perks once again. So, uh, I guess it's going to be kind of like a um, nowhere to hide, but with a locker. So you're going to open it up and as if you would kick a gen and see if anybody is nearby and have their aura revealed, you would open a locker and then anybody nearby would scream. So, hmm. I didn't really like the change to Ultimate Weapon. As much as I hate the existing version of Ultimate Weapon, I didn't really like the change to it. I thought it was a little bit too strong of a nerf on that one. N oh, that's it. Okay. Until next time, the Dead by Daylight team. So, whew, no mentions of any changes to Haddonfield. I don't feel like the Haddonfield changes were well received. Uh, that map rework is kind of eh. So, there you go. That's what we've got for this developer update. What do you think? Let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm eager to see what the new version looks like. And on, I'll be streaming... I think I'll be streaming on the 23rd um, during the day when this releases. The new Tome's coming out. So I think we're going to have a day stream then for that. And I want to see 
uh, all the store. There's uh, a person on um, Twitter put out this list of all of the different cosmetics that are being reduced in price. It's like something like 16,000 Oryx cells reduced on all of these different cosmetics here. So I'm looking forward to the new store and the removed depipping I think is great. It doesn't, you know, you can go into a game and not feel like you have to play sweaty all the time. Otherwise, you're going to go backwards and lose pips and things. You can you can have a bad game. You can goof around and it's going to be OK, you know. So I'm glad that they have removed the D pips as far as working towards your rank rewards. Yeah. All right. So that's all I have today. Let me, that's all I have to show you today. Let me know what you think of all this. Are you happy that they reverted the twins? Or were you like, man, I was really looking on, looking to forward to flexing on the fog <laughs> with those new twins? Huh. I'm really surprised they did that. Are you surprised that they would roll it back? I want to hear all of your feedback, all of your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all of this stuff. That's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate the time you spend here with me on the, on the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel a ton. I like to read what all the things that you have to say are. And don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a Gen Rush life for us. It's a Gen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Gen Rush life.